Hey, how's it going guys? In a situation like this, where we have multiple gaps and we want to delete all of them at the same time, what we need to do is to go to the edit menu up top and then in the menu select delete gaps. Now, while this will do the trick, this, as you can see, is not the fastest and the most convenient way to go about it. Now, notice how the system doesn't even have a keyboard shortcut assigned to it. This is where we can create our own by going to the DaVinci Resolve menu up top and then select Keyboard Customization. This is going to bring up a brand new window where we can now make this, this type of change. So now let's go to Commands and then go to the Edit menu. And then you're going to see that this will bring up all the commands uh, currently under Edit. And you will see that, of course, the next to Delete Gaps, there is no uh, keyboard shortcut. So to create a keyboard shortcut, up for it let's actually go up top select the three dots and then in this menu select save as new preset now davinci resolve keyboard mapping right now is used as the default uh, mapping of default preset so that's perfect let's go ahead and select that as the new preset and then let's just give it a brand new name and then let's hit the ok button so now if we were to click into the empty field next to the leak gaps, uh, this is going to reveal a box with red border where uh, we can assign a keyboard shortcut to it. Now, if we were to just uh, right now hit a keyboard shortcut that currently exists in the system, you're going to actually get a message like this where it will tell you that um, you know, where it will ask you actually whether you want to assign or cancel it. I would say always cancel it to avoid any confusion. So uh, let's go ahead and create a brand new keyboard shortcut that currently doesn't exist in the system. Now let's go ahead and hit the save button and then let's go ahead and close this window. You will see that if we were to hit this keyboard shortcut, uh, this will very quickly execute basically what we did earlier uh, way much faster um, and uh, it's very simple to do. Now, lastly, let's go back to keyboard customization. One other thing we can do is to assign an additional keyboard shortcut to the same command. So let's click that plus button and then let's go ahead and assign another keyboard shortcut to delete gaps. Uh, and uh, once that's done, let's just go ahead and save the uh, hit the save button. Uh, so basically now we have two keyboard shortcuts that will execute the same command for you in the system. So uh, I hope this tutorial helps guys. And as always, I will see you next time.